Hey guys, so today I want to take a look at the Galaxy Note 2 Android 4.3 and comparing it a little bit here with the Android 4.3 that you do get on the Galaxy Note 3. So I installed this yesterday uh, on one of my Galaxy Note 2s. It's not wearable for the uh, my 4G edition Galaxy Note 2, which is the N7105 or something. Uh, this is like the N7000 variant. And uh, if you can see here when we go into... You can see both Jelly Bean and Reform 3 here are on both devices. Uh, so if you start off here, uh, the first thing I can say that is that there's really not super many things that have changed uh, from what I can see over here. Uh, I mean, it's not like the 4.4 KitKat update, it's still Android, 4 .3, Android Jelly Bean. Uh, so Android 4.1, 4.2, 4.3 all have been Jelly Bean. But you do get first, of course, these two new apps uh, on both these two devices. Uh, which is first the Samsung Knox uh, app, which let's see here if we can find it there, Knox. And uh, then we should have it here also on the, where is it? Samsung Knox. I mean, at least I think it should be here on the uh, Note 3. There we go, Knox. So that's one of the new apps, which is like Samsung's, one of Samsung's security systems. I haven't even tried it. Um, maybe I should try it in the future. Yes, I should. I should definitely do that. Uh, another one of these new apps is Samsung Wallet, which you can see over here, uh, which I have never tried either, but uh, let's see here if we can find it here as well on the... Uh, on the Note 3. Maybe I'm blind, maybe I'm blind, maybe I can't see it. Maybe it's here. I mean, I'm trying to find it, but it's like, no, I, c I can't. For some weird reason, I'm, I'm, I'm blind. I'm blind, I'm blind. Maybe it's not even here. But Samsung Wallet is also one of these new apps. Uh, you can probably download it on the Note 3 if you don't have it already. Let's see here. Samsung Wallet, blah, 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 install applications. Uh, it will say all your tickets, memberships, and coupons if you have some of those like Burger King and shit. Um, yeah, that's, that's interesting stuff if you, you want to have that. Uh, what else? I mean, in the menu here, let's, let's take a look at the menu in here. And uh, you will see that I have one feature here, like a power saving mode that I don't see here. Could be because uh, of the settings or something that I need to tweak that. Uh, let's see here if we go in here and see all of the ones. You can see that we have a ton of more, of course, uh, on the you Note know, 3 here. We have, let's see, smart pause, smart scroll, and uh, airplane mode, uh, air gesture. Uh, a lot of these in Galaxy S4 features, uh, <coughs> sorry people, uh, <laughs> that's a lot of those features that you got in the Galaxy S4, uh, that is features that you uh, as well get here inside of the Note 3, but you don't get them on the Note 2, you also get this reading mode up here at the top, which should enhance in some apps uh, the performance of reading to make the text a little bit more clear, even though I haven't seen a super big difference in, in that little thing, uh, but that's one of the updates. Of course, you can overall see that there's a big display difference here. Uh, that it looks so much more fresh here uh, on this display. And of course, this one is 1080p resolution. This one is only 720p. Uh, so uh, over there, it's, it's a big difference. Uh, if you take a look at the wallpapers here, because I always like kind of like wallpapers. Okay. 
let's see wallpapers the default ones uh, big difference here I mean the note uh, note 3 has uh, all of these new wallpapers you don't get them inside of the note 2 uh, which I think is very very disappointing because why, why shouldn't you be able to get the new wallpapers instantly inside of here uh, because they are pretty cool they are pretty awesome I definitely think something could work a little bit more here as well on uh, the um, uh, in, on the live wallpapers which is like boring as hell you can even see that we have more live wallpapers here uh, on the uh, on in, some, in, in the Galaxy Note 2's touch with but I think it kind of sucks here I mean it's very very boring live wallpapers it's not as cool as you would get on iOS with all kinds of colors and everything I mean these are very very old school uh, pretty interesting that we get this like deep sea here but you don't get it in here um, a little bit weird, a little bit creepy, I'm not sure why Samsung have done that. Uh, very, very weird overall. Uh, let's see the UI here when we bring out the S Pen, which is definitely different on both these two devices. Uh, so, of course, you won't get this new kind of UI here uh, with five quick features. Uh, you won't get that. Uh, on the uh, the Note 2 at the moment, you used to have this old school UI that you've been having before. So uh, there's a lot of things to say here, but in terms of UI, it's not going to be a big difference. But a lot of these Samsung's own apps is definitely different uh, on both these s different smartphones. You don't e even get the new like tab system uh, in inside of the. Uh, the you Note know, 2 down to 4.3 uh, or that this goes like instantly in full screen if I can recall. Uh, some of the icons definitely been changed though like I think that the internet icon has been changed and definitely I think that uh, in the background like speed improvements and bug fixes and stuff like that 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 is one of the big things that they have uh, upgraded uh, so that is definitely something that you may want to take a look at. You can see here the difference uh, that definitely looks a little bit way sharper here on the Note uh, Note 3 and this is something that you might just uh, want to take a look at uh, side by side because there is a big difference probably in uh, many other apps as well uh, that uh, I can probably take a, a closer look at as well uh, in the future so just a quick uh, thing here to say uh, even though I should say that my, my Note 2 got very very slow uh, when I used 4.2 uh, in a few months it started to get extremely slow maybe that I fixed it, that now down to 4.3 in terms of I would mostly upgrade it for bug fixes and improvements like that that it will probably fix a lot of those things in the background so just a quick little look here uh, if you want me to compare something specific or something new uh, let me know about that. I want to see what I can do. Yeah, peace out.